This segment brought to you by Udong, makers of fine dong with you in mind since 1852. Yeah, I realize that's not how you're supposed to play a bass, but uh, here it is on my workbench in shambles. I can actually barely play this instrument at all, let alone laying down flat on a table. So, And tonight's alcoholic beverage is an Anchor Steam Lager. I've never had it before, and I'm finding it quite delicious and enjoyable. Yes, friends, I'm using those jumper cables. When the first caveman picked one of these up and thought, alas, behold, a useful object to ease my labor. He still was only thinking of the two great motivators, food and sex. Not always in that order, mind you. Often interchangeable, often at the same time. Now, I was going to name this video How to Get More Sex for Less Effort by wiring your guitar coils to Arduino. And while this is true if you're Johnny B. Good, who only needed barely anything to begin with, I'm going to get a lot of angry, idiotic comments from people who didn't have a chance to begin with anyway, so... Yeah. And so, for these reasons, you can plainly see why in the early 50s through the 60s, the emergence of rock and roll so easily reduced the dominant art form of the 40s, jazz, into an intellectual pursuit, turning this into that eventually. And that! Aha! But it's really quite simple, because rock and roll is the quickest way to get laid. Am I right? I mean, at that point, somebody else is paying for the food anyways. So let's face it, when it comes to payoff, jazz is hard, rock and roll is easy. <laughs> so I was gonna name this video, Get Laid More Often by Converting Your Guitar to Digital, but I thought better of that too. So you can hear what's happening when I play and push these buttons. I've got out of phase series, bridge only, Neck only, bridge, neck, yep, there's a difference there. Uh, parallel, uh, more tinny, kind of empty sounding. Uh, series, series sounds pretty balanced. I kind of like the, let's see, bridge, bridge only. So, short story long. Since the dawn of man's use of tools, he has sought a way to finally control the inputs and outputs of devices, be they stone carving things or electric guitars. Switching technology, once again. Never underestimate the brilliance of 20th century analog equipment designed by and for the telephone industry, namely AT&T. Behold, the crossbar matrix. This, my friends, was how engineers got more food and sex in olden times. Before you make a parabolic reflector from all of your Bill Evans CDs, listen to this. Even a caveman had the capacity to be an artist, a craftsman, a writer of sonnets, and maker of bridges, buildings, and eventually, spacecraft. And so that's all that's going on here. Caveman desires at work. What I'm showing you here is step 1.0 in a process I'm undertaking to digitize the switching of guitar coils. Now, if you're a woodworker or gasp eluthier, look away from the screen. I am none of those things, and this, admittedly, is an atrocity. So, the test rig. Uh, it's a Fender Squire Precision, nothing super special, obviously, but I have set it up to play nicely, can't you tell? Hand-carved bone nut. Czechoslovakian capacitor, 470 PF. It's custom. Uh, this particular bass, like a lot of them, doesn't come with pickup switching of any kind. And why would it? Because each of these pickups are dedicated to only two strings. They're movable now, and, you know, and so they wire them up in series and give you a tone and volume knob. And that's basically all you really need anyways with this configuration. Cut to the Jazz Fender. On this one, you could add pickup switching for sure. Uh, and more modern designs are going to have those features anyway. Six string guitars have always had them. Uh, but this too is a relatively cheap assembly line knockoff of a classic. So 
you're going to get what you get. More choices mean more yen and uh, yada yada. So, you know, per usual, uh, up till oh dark hundred, another weekend lost. This time to digitally switchable pickups, facilitated by an Arduino and some switching chips. Normally in a physical switch and wire scenario, you're going to use a double pole five-way switch for guitars, a five-way lever uh, for like a Strat and a three-way for a Les Paul. Um, but here we want not only this pickup or that pickup, we want series, parallel, just this, just that, out of phase scenario. Um, you know, you're going to need more poles to do all that stuff there. At least three poles, I think. And as you can see, it quickly becomes a topological mess. Hence, a switching diagram. Anything more complex than a light switch typically confounds me, so I start with sketches and work it up to something that I can read while breadboarding. Here's the magic hardware. Nothing more than a cluster of MOSFETs in a tiny box. And again, inspired by old analog telephone crossbar circuits. These particular switches are 4097Bs. They do have a fancy name called a multiplexer, demultiplexer. But in this particular case, you can just think of these as N-pole, N-throw. These are two-pole, eight-throw here. This one is a one-pole, 16-throw. Lots and lots of other configurations out there, lots of chips available. So far they handle audio signals just fine. No distortion, no crosstalk as far as I can tell yet. Uh, the data sheet says something about these being designed for video, so that's good. Uh, voltage coming off a guitar shouldn't be a big deal, right? I don't know. Um, I don't really know what happens when you have an Arduino in line with part of a alternating current guitar circuit plugged into an amp. Um, there's a little bit of a hum there, but with this particular amp, I get hum anyways. All right, so let's go to the console. Um, we've got out of phase series. Uh, we've got bridge only. Neck only. Bridge only. Neck only. Yeah, there's a difference. Uh, parallel. That's pretty weak T. I am not a big fan of that. Uh, series. It's okay. I'm more of a bridge only guy. I know in my Fender Jazz, I just turn off the neck pickup completely. I don't even use it. You know, out of phase series is not too bad. Yeah, parallel is just disappointing. It sounds empty and soulless. There's nothing in there. Series is not my favorite. Out of phase series, very punchy. Actually, neck only sounds, in this particular video, it's sounding a lot punchier than I expected. So, the code for all this is surprisingly easy. Um, so, I've got a chip that I'm talking to. Actually, I've got two chips that I'm talking to. There's four pins for each chip, an A, B, C, and an inhibit pin. Combinations of highs and lows to those pins turns on or off different poles on the switch. So, the usual stuff, the setup, uh, setting up your pin modes. Uh, in the loop, I'm just doing digital read off of the buttons. Uh, because I'm using momentary switches, I gotta eat up a lot of digital pins here. I think what we're gonna do is switch to five-way levers, though, and we'll just use the old voltage divider trick to, do, uh, to just use one analog pin for these. So, uh, I wrote a function here that's basically you just pass it a, a number and it'll set the highs and lows on the both of the chips in order to turn on this or that pickup. And that's all the code. Very, very simple. Uh, the hardest thing for me was like, uh, you know, the, the wiring. <laughs> yeah, it's a bloody mess. Um, I've got a co-conspirator in this project who actually knows what the fuck he's doing and ha knows how to build guitars from scratch with his bare hands. And soon we're gonna get everything tidied up and packaged into an onboard unit where you basically just solder your pickup wires and go. Uh, and if you've got humbucker pickups, what's really cool is you can take another switching 
uh, module like this and run each set of coils into a unit just like this, like a dedicated unit per pickup. Uh, and so that would be like three banks of five way switch levers for 125 total pickup tones. That's crazy. That's a lot of tone choices. So I do have this question of whether to use uh, momentary switches or use traditional five-way levers. I guess the five-ways are going to look better and you're going to have a more traditional looking guitar. Instead of having a bunch of buttons, I'm, I, I don't know, I just, I mean, I like the idea that you can jump, you've got random access here. So. To recap, uh, this is part 1.0. You know, getting back to first principles, it all comes back to making this uh, do more than it was originally designed to do. The thematic glue of all this is choice. Thanks for watching.